thanks for joining us again here from the Living River Ministry. Tonight, our scripture is going to be from Psalms 141, a Psalm of David. Take heed and hear what the psalmist says here. Verse 1, Lord, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me, and give ear unto my voice, when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked work with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their nancy. Let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamity. When their judges are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth as when one cutteth and cleaveth wood upon the earth. But my eyes are unto thee, O God, the Lord, in thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and the dens of the worker of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own net, while that I with them escape. Hearken unto the Lord. Let him hear your cry. Cry out to him, and let your prayer be in an incense. One day, it'll come up before God in the heaven, whether you're still here or not. That prayer will be heard before the Lord. Remember to lift up holy hands and praise him for his mighty works and his mighty acts and the very thing that he does in your life. When people try to deceive you or harm you, cry out unto him. There will be angels come. There will be a multitude of angels come to your defense. But it's up to you to cry out and ask God for the help. He wants to hear from you. He wants to be there in everything and be a part of your life. When people are saying things about you that may hurt, rejoice. Paul said, rejoice in our tribulations. It's hard to know that, I know. Remember, though, greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. So, it is maybe not possible for you to overcome, but through the blood of the Lamb, all things are possible in God. Let the Lord say so, and let him be the manner going into the war. And above all, love your neighbor as yourself. Even when they don't seem to be your neighbor, treat them with kindness. Because good overcomes evil. Let Jesus be the Lord of your life. Amen.